Good morning, Interbid fans. A beautiful day in KwaZulu Natal, and um, we gave my father a great send off yesterday, which was fantastic with family and friends from all over the world. And um, I really enjoyed it, but a uh, bittersweet end of an era, as they say. But let's kick on. We got Monday, the 7th of March, and uh, we're going to Gravel on the poly track. And uh, we start, we have an eight race program, and um, I was pleased to find whispers of war for all of you who uh, liked my preview yesterday. And I think I found another couple of goodies today. So let's go with the uh, first race, which is um, it's a 67 handicap over 1,000 meters. And my strong first choice is um, the three to one shot Real Advisor. I really like this horse. I think perfect everything falls into place with Real Advisor. Nice to see Gareth right back in the saddle. And I think Real Advisor will go very, very well. But it's not cut and dried. Six, Her Royal Majesty is quick and got to have a chance. She loves the poly. Um, if um, Ash Aries can get her into a decent position or lead with an easy lead, she's going to be difficult to beat. Uh, nine, uh, Magic, oh, eight, Magic Lee, always um, competitive. Three, Beckoning Beauty, third run after rest. Look for improvement from the Louis Huss and then mate. And... <coughs> Excuse me. Just shows you my morning sneeze. I always have one one every morning. So anyway, there we go. And uh, seven bird watcher thousand looks like it's on the sharp side, but uh, comes into the race with a chance to abracadabra is your favourite. And uh, will she improve on the poly? Uh, that's the question. But not an easy first race to kick off with. Race two maiden plate fourteen hundred meters. Um, strong first choice word for word from the Tony Riblin stable. With Sean Veal, I bought it. He rode it last time. It looks absolutely cherry ripe for a race like this, and I think will go very well. The big um, question mark horse is Two Wild Eye, five to ten favourite. There's no value in that. Um, she's um, she's very temperamental as Philly. She's got very good form. She obviously can run, but she hangs in her races, which is always a problem. And that might just uh, give you a chance to get onto the five to one shot word for word, but I'd certainly have an each way uh, go on that. Race three, uh, Phillies and Mares, 71, they go 1700 meters. And this is an interesting race because Blue Sales was scratched yesterday uh, with Stipe's permission and is running today. So this is obviously the preferred race for her, and as a result, take big note of Blue Sales number four. I don't know how that happens. Uh, while I was training horses, there's no way that you could scratch your horse uh, one day for, for it to run the next day, unless it was in a feature race. But obviously things have changed, and uh, as we know, the NHRA has got no backbone and no um, uh, real people running it. It's just run by a bunch of, as we know what they are. One Dancing Sword, course and distance, two one one. Second run will probably improve Dancing Sword. Have a close look at her and six, and let's not linger from the Tony Riblin stable. You always look at his horses. Um, these races look like they're absolutely set for let's not linger. And um, it goes well on the poly track, course and distance, one from one. Race four, merit rate at 67, 1,700 meters, a two-horse race, I make this. Uh, Roy's command got a five-point penalty for winning last time, but absolutely cantered in. Uh, no reason why I shouldn't go in again. I think he's quite decent, Roy's command, as his uh, profile shows, nine runs, three wins and a place. He's getting better. He'll be hard to beat. But Patrick Wally uh, is the big danger horse. Anton Marcus jumps aboard, very good form. Will he go on the poly? If he goes on the poly, he's got a huge chance here. St. John Gray's in town, got Wandering Star with Clinton Binder with Groom to Win, as you saw Goliath Heron won well yesterday, and Lord of the Manor might easily improve as well. Sonia Dorm, got a tricky draw to overcome, but always competitive. Race 5, Mary rated 66, um, 2,000 metres. I like number 1, Techno Savvy. I think everything's right for this was where Warren Kennedy jumps aboard it. Gets the blinkers, which is a huge plus, but very open race. Two Rocky Coast, uh, good, good form. Three Flying Grace. Marcus, when you see him booked on one of Clinton Binder's horses, take big note. And then nine Hay Bull comes into the race with a chance with Rachel Benico aboard it. Also a tricky draw. She got a few problems with draws today to get over, but not in race six. Mary rated 67. 
and they go 1200 meters she's riding seventh song from the best draw drawn one and i think that this horse will go very very well he runs five times for her four places uh he's right around eight times on the poly uh, 11 times on the poly for eight places so i think he could, will go on the poly and i think this looks like a a good race for him dangers two of them six cool runnings looks like a big improver to me i've been following this horse and I'm going to stick with him. He's another Whispers of War type horse. And seven, uh, Leslie Part to Fame. Three good runs, and he's always there or thereabouts for the Frank Robinson team. Race seven, Mary Rated 76. They go 1,400 meters. And um, I make this a three cornered contest. Three K Beagle's my top choice. I think he'll go very well, and I certainly have a good each way on him. Uh, I think he's got ability, this horse. Four Purple Powerhouse, good win. He went up five. And then set the question mark horse is seven signs of hands. This horse is obviously packed with ability and he looks extremely well handicapped signs of hands. He's only off a 78 with a profile like uh, winning his first two races and winning them convincingly and then running a cracking third, his next start, with a, in not quite the right race, although he was favorite. He's got to have some ability and he's 78 for a three-year-old is a very low merit rating. You look at some of those one-time winners that were running, there was one that ran in a classic yesterday, uh, had a merit rating of 90 odd for um, as a one-time winner. So, got to go well. Race eight, uh, Phillies and Mare, 65, 1400 meters. Capriccio might be a good each way bet. Number one with Muzieni aboard, he's ridden at four times, one win in one place. Uh, Royal Kitty, as I've always said, needs the blinkers i'm dying for them to put the blinkers on it and then the other two are five flower season goes well yoga's governed uh, ashton ari's got a big chance and three made in france look for this one to run well inform gabriel peter sir aboard it so from me james goodman and the whole interbet team i'll be back with you during the week for all your previews please subscribe and like my show and um, you can share it with all your mates it's all free and uh, Interbet are our sponsors and what wonderful sponsors they are. So remember, get an Interbet account, you won't look back.